Welcome to Cosa in Italy. Cosa is believed to be an ancient Roman settlement. The site was excavated at least four times over the last century. What is there to excavate if Cosa is originally a Roman site? Was the Pantheon in Rome excavated? No. The Pantheon is even at the same ground level as the surrounding, contemporary buildings. And why is that? Because the Pantheon was probably built during the Roman era. It is also almost cardinally oriented, which indicates that it cannot be very ancient. The Roman era was only some 2,000 years ago. Soil in this region builds up at a rate of around 5 feet per 100,000 years. If Cosa was really originally Roman, and only some two millenniums old, it would be covered with only a few inches of soil. No excavations would have been necessary. This is an easy and simple test that anyone can do. If an ancient site was excavated in a Mediterranean climate, from many feet below the current ground level, it is very likely much more ancient than believed. A short introduction to our method. We have measured and categorized around 1,000 ancient sites around the world. It appears that around two-thirds of these structures are oriented to only five very dense clusters. The rhythm of these clusters follow the same rhythm as the temperature anomalies over the last 350,000 years, called the Ice Ages. We suggest, based on our research, that crustal deformations are the cause of the migrating geographic North Pole. And these deformations are the cause of the so-called Ice Ages. One of the consequences of our research is very profound, the age of many ancient structures is many times older than previously believed. The polygonal masonry that we find at Kosa can be found at many other locations around the world. They can be found at many other, earthquake-prone areas. When one of the stones in a wall has such a natural frequency that happens to be harmonized with the earthquake frequency, then the other stones, which are different in shape and weight, do not have this problem. The different weights and shapes of the stones make the wall as a whole much less sensitive to collapse due to earthquakes. Kosa is just one of the many ancient sites that have been examined with our method. We found three different orientations on the site, and all three orientations correlate with another pole. COSA is not even part of our dataset. The chances that this is a coincidental match is less than 1.3%. The probability that COSA is built by a series of very ancient, pre-Ice Age civilizations is higher than 98.7%. The archaeologists who performed the excavations, and interpreted the information seem to be unable to look further into antiquity than Greeks or Romans. They seem to be completely oblivious of other possibilities. The mainstream ideology seems to be unaware of the fact that Homo sapiens some 300,000 years ago had the same capacities as Homo sapiens today. The foundations of Kosa are likely to be even hundreds of millenniums older than currently believed. Some parts are probably even older than 330,000 years, probably built by one of the early humanoid races. The marvelous legacy of early Homo sapiens deserves much more respect. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Please share it with your friends and followers, and let us know what you think below in the comment section. One last thing. Our work is difficult. And because we tread uncharted territory, our progress is steady but slow. We are not here to entertain you with superficial daily videos. We are here to inform you, and to pave the way to new methods of researching our ancient history. Everything we do takes a lot of time. We are not monetized on YouTube, due to the controversiality of our work. That is why we need your support on Patreon. Thank you for watching.